Torpedoes to start. Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Welcome back to World of Warships. This is me, these Games here again, and today I have one really, really special episode for you. Because today we are going to take our first look at a new Soviet destroyer line that is going to be in the game soon. But before I get into any further action, I have to talk about giveaway. A giveaway contest that I hosted in my previous episode. All the winners are on the screen right now. Congratulations! I was able to give away four times Diana Cruiser Goats, a one time Mikasa Tier 2 Battleship Goat, a really special ship, and a one time Derpich Premium Battleship, Tier 8 Premium Battleship. All the winners are on the screen right now, and please go check your YouTube message box, and I'm going to let you know how you're going to receive your prize. But now, let's get into the action. Our today's main guests are going to be Soviet destroyers. At first, uh, I'm going to talk about what you can expect from Soviet destroyers and all that. I'm going to go through every single ship over here. And after that, you're going to see one pretty awesome live gameplay action with uh, Tier 10. So, let's get going. For the start, what I have to say is... Uh, wow. <laughs> I didn't expect something like that. Long story short, Soviet destroyers are going to be super fast with pretty much no torpedo range whatsoever until Tier 8. Now, when Japanese destroyers are all about torpedoes, and uh, US Navy destroyers are pretty much all about uh, main battery units, uh, they are fairly fast and uh, torpedoes actually are pretty decent as well, not as good as on uh, Japanese. Uh, destroyers uh, not as good activity range and so on and so we can say that US Navy is short of all about main artillery uh, all about destroying other destroyers uh, but over here Soviet destroyers are all about main battery units pretty much up to tier 10 tier 10 is actually going to be worth it tier 10 is pretty amazing uh, destroyer but let's say up until tier 8 Soviet line is going to be all about main battery units. Why? Well, you're going to see that right now. Now, the speed is going to be pretty amazing on pretty much every single Soviet uh, DD. Uh, maximum speed 43.4 knots uh, in tier 10. Let's compare that speed to other destroyers uh, carrying. Where are you, my friend? My good old friend over here, a uh, 36.3. And um, Shimakaze. Soon I'm going to have those two ships in my board. 39.4. So to get 43.4 knot speed plus the boost is simply amazing. You can outrun some of the dorps. Uh, you can outrun pretty much every single uh, carrier dorp. You're actually going to see that from the live gameplay action as well. That I'm able to outrun tier 10 uh, US Navy uh, carrier torpedoes with this ship. <laughs> this is crazy how fast it is. And now let's start from tier 2. And you see what I'm talking about. Tier 2, surface stick debate range uh, 5.8 kilometers, torpedo range 3 kilometers. Okay, it is just tier 2. Uh, 3 kilometer torpedoes, that means you have to go in, you have to go in deep, you have to go in fast, but luckily you're going to be able to do that because. Uh, uh, 35.4 knot speed for tier 2 is pretty amazing, so I can actually see that we're going to have a lot of fun uh, with uh, this ship over here. But we'll see. By the way, every single ship is fully upgraded. I did that right now, just now. Just to give you some kind of an idea. Now, in uh, tier 3, we have Terski. Uh, I believe this is how you pronounce your name, and this is Storoshevoy. Storoshevoy, yeah, Terski in tier 3. Uh, surface deck debate range 6.1 kilometers, uh, 32.8 knot speed, actually slower, and uh, torpedo range 3 kilometers. Now the interesting thing is over here that you can see that we have five torpedo units over here with uh, two torpedo dupes on each unit. So one, two, three, four, five. So this is interesting, but once again, three kilometers. You have to go in and you have to go in deep. Main battery uh, three times 102 millimeters. Not too shabby. In tier 4, 
we have again a slower ship the speed is going to be faster soon guys uh, but uh, over here a slower ship maximum speed uh, close to 32 knots uh, surface take the bit range 6.7 kilometers which is actually not bad so over here 6.1 is not bad as well uh, so 6.7 with 5 kilometer torpedoes over here in tier 4 we actually get 5 kilometer torpedoes uh, but uh, moving on into tier uh, 5, Kenevni, once again, upgraded torpedoes, 4 kilometers. And this is the maximum range, like the other torpedoes were 4 kilometers as well, if I remember correctly. Yes, yes. Uh, pretty fast ones, actually, uh, 65 knot speed, not bad. And 38.4 knots. Now we are we are getting there, guys. Pretty fast ship. And over here, starting from tier five, you are going to get 130 millimeter guns. On uh, U.S. Navy uh, destroyers, from starting from tier four, actually, I believe. Yeah, tier four. You are going to be able to get 127 millimeter guns. Let me quickly see that. 100 and. 20, okay, starting from tier 5 at Nichols, yeah, 127, and you're going to use exactly the same guns up to tier 10, but with faster, pretty much uh, the same gun, uh, with faster rate of fire, and uh, well, the shell type is going to be different as well, if if I'm not mistaken, but over here, 130 millimeter guns at tier 5, this is some serious firepower, guys, with that speed, uh, but uh, torpedoes from now on up to tier 7 pretty much are garbage. Torpedo range 4 kilometers. Torpedoes are like secondary guns pretty much for you because they have exactly the same range. With torpedoes you can't go in too deep uh, because uh, cruisers are going to eat you alive. Battleships with good hits pretty much are going to eat you alive. Uh, even with secondary guns, so you can't go in too deep. Uh, you're going to be spotted for three kilometers before you're going to be able to launch your torpedoes, and you have to pre-aim, so you have to get even closer than four kilometers thanks to that. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of uh, torpedoes over here. All about main battery units. 11.9 kilometer range, not bad. Moving on to tier six, Ognevoy. Uh, we have two times two hundred and thirty millimeter guns over here, so two main battery units with two barrels, uh, pretty much exactly the same firepower. But what was the hundred and eighty degree turn time? Eighteen point six seconds. And over here, thirty six seconds. So a lot faster. So a lot better firepower. Pretty much thirty seven point three knot speed. Not bad. Torpedoes two times three, so two torpedo units and uh, three torpedo tubes on every single torpedo unit. But the interesting thing over here is the speed, 17 knots speed, pretty amazing. Try to dodge that, guys. Moving on to tier seven, Kiev. Uh, you can see that those uh, destroyers actually are pretty huge, so that's why we have such a huge, such a long surface deck debit range as well. Over here at tier 7 Kiev, we have 8.1 kilometer surface deck debit range, but the speed 40, 2.9 knot speed. Amazing! 4 kilometer torpedo range uh, with uh, two torpedo units. Uh, on every single unit, we have five tubes. Pretty interesting layout, you can see two on the top and three on the bottom yes so this is uh, tier 7 firepower uh, three times two 130 millimeter guns so pretty much we get one extra um, main battery unit compared to the tier 6 yes so firepower is upgraded once again what is the traverse speed 18.6 seconds exactly the same now moving on to the tier 8 and over here, it is actually getting pretty interesting. Tashkent. Tashkent, I believe, is how you pronounce that. 42.8 knot speed, uh, rather shift time, 4.8 seconds. So really, uh, this uh, ship is really maneuverable. 7.4 km surface deck debit range with 8 km drops. Now, the torpedoes are going to be slower, 55 knot speed. But 8 km, you are actually going to be able to launch your torpedoes without getting spotted. Which is interesting, isn't it? <laughs> Main battery units, uh, pretty much exactly the same firepower as you get in tier 7. 3 times 2, 130 millimeter shells. Awesome. 
But uh, moving on to the tier 9, uh, to Udaloi, we can see pretty amazing firepower. A main battery firing range 14.1 kilometers, which is uh, really good for destroyers. Uh, main battery units over here, three times two 130 millimeter guns over here, but uh, 180 degree turn time, for example, nine seconds, rate of fire 13 rounds per minute. So, pretty amazing firepower. Torpedoes, nine kilometer range, uh, three times five, and torpedoes over here. So, one on uh, both sides and one in the middle, actually. So, one, two, and three. Uh, surface detectability range 7.2 kilometers and uh, over 40 knot speed as well with epic rudder shift time this ship is maneuverable and uh, finally tier 10 Kabarovsk that you're going to see gameplay soon in about one minute or so main battery firing range 15.1 kilometers uh, four times 230 millimeter guns on the board 13 rounds per minute, 9 second, uh, 180 degree turn time. Uh, so pretty much the same stats as on Udaloi. But one extra main battery unit. And you are going to see how many shots I'm going to be able to hit. And how many shots I'm going to be able to fire. This is crazy. Maximum speed, as mentioned before. 33.4 uh, knot speed with uh, 4.9 second rudder shift time. This destroyer is really maneuverable. Uh, surface take the bait range 7.9 kilometers, but with all the boosting equipments, you're going to be able to get it down to pretty much 6.5 kilometers. So, not bad, guys, not bad at all. And this was one quick preview about every single Soviet destroyer that is going to be in the game soon. I don't know exactly when and which patch it is going to be, but uh, soon, guys, soon. So what more other than let's jump into action with Khabarovsk and let's see what we're going to be able to do in pretty intense game. See you there. And let's get this show on the road indeed guys or on the sea. Hey mate. So tier 10 Khabarovsk. Kabarovsk, yes, I believe this is how you are going to pronounce that. And we actually have another review account in action, and this is uh, Hindenburg, tier 10 uh, Germany cruiser. So, pretty interesting matchmaking, and we are on the same side as well. Uh, uh, Torp stats, 10 clicks, 10 clicks, slow. Clicks. Like that. We have uh, two different tubes over here and uh, five shots or five drops in every single tube. So we have Ibuki over here, uh, as this ship is all about that main battery unit firepower. Sneaky firepower. Let's use it. Let's try to use it. And uh, I'm going to pre-release my torpedoes like that. And let's pray they are going to hit. Pretty much. You can see the spread. Ooh, nice. Go, go make me proud, guys. You can do that. Hopefully this guy decided to go over there, not over here. The enemy team has no. taken the lead. Now the spread is pretty beautiful, I have to say. Like... If anything is going to be there, I'm going to get at least one hit, if not more. And... Detect it. Aircrafts, yeah. As expected. Our team has taken the lead. Let's see if I can actually dodge anything. Oh, what a shot! What a shot, guys. Jesus Christ. God damn, are they really going to come for me? Well played. Fire. Another torpedo on the way. Come on, let's try to dodge every single one of them. Well, actually, I think I'm going to be able to do that. Yeah, I can now drown those torps. Jesus Christ, that guy. 
That guy wants me dead. That meat way. Whew, okay, at least that's arrived. And uh, every single other guy. This ship is damn fast. Yeah, it is. It is. Why you want me dead? Mm, this is actually really good because in Destroyer I am able to dodge faster and I am able to dodge even bombers. And so for my teammates, that move was pretty good. I'm not destroyer, I'm fast cruiser. Which is actually... Which isn't a lie, actually. This is the truth, guys. This is the truth. God damn, give me one more spotting, please. Oh, 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 oh. Nope. Now what? Now who the hell is going to spot me? This is for Wookie. Oh, first blood! What a shot that was by my teammates as well. So pretty much every single shell that went towards that guy was a hit. Well done. Well done, guys. Okay. No range. Oh yes, we have range. To shoot that Otago. So let's let's just see how devastating the firebower can be. Because this ship is all about the firebower. Nope. I was not able to showcase that because uh, they got pretty much wrecked. Jesus. Okay. I have both of my smoke screen up. So this is nice. Full stop, so I can take more than just one shot into that Mogami. Uh, don't turn. Yeah, I don't know. I, I can't understand. Okay, he's going to the right side. Yeah, he's turning to the right side. Oh, crap. This guy over here again. Is this Kagami for me? Just to be on the safe side. We are going to be able to capture that. Come on, Iowa, you can do that. You can do it, buddy. Let's test that epic firepower. This Iowa is going to be angry. Just look at the rain. Make it rain. Pretty much like uh, caring. Yeah, like caring. Okay, so let's get away from the detection range and uh, and let's start shooting. Frontal gun, one of the frontal guns is down. On that Iowa. That is really good news. I'm trying to dodge while I am shooting. That is why you can see I can't shoot every time with full salvo. Full stop. I'm inside my smoke. So let's make it rain. <laughs> wow. Come on. Set on fire. This guy is dead. Nice. 47 hits, guys. 47 hits. This is crazy. This is simply crazy. Our team has taken the lead. Okay. Let's go back. Let's start shooting that Yamato. Invisible wall action, just a little bit. Full stop. They're not going to be they're not going to be able to spot me. Well actually that Sawo 
is more important target, Imo. Fuck, the dead dead. You don't want to fight with cruiser in your destroyer. Come on, one fire before going into the shadows, set on fire and destroyed something as well. All right, okay, I like that. Now over here, what do we have is Yamato. Full stop once again. Is this guy crashing or what are you doing? Can't see. Where are you going? Oh, oh. Looking good. This guy seems like this guy wants to crash. Works for me, 2500 damage. What I need right now is fires. I need fires actually. So sniping from a distance like a boss. I could be closer as well but uh, there's no need for that actually so that's why I'm not going to go any closer than that. My teammates are spotting for me. We don't need another spotter. This is not that crucial at the moment. Accuracy is not the best. Finally, some hits. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was beautiful. Okay, just a little bit too much lead. Set on fire. Now, one fire from the middle as well. Can we do it? At least this guy is uh, going away now. And he's not going to be able to take that point. Set on fire. Pretty much music to my eyes. And done. So this guy is dead. And all the other guys are coming from that direction. So I'm going to activate my speed boost. Let's see what is going on. Let's defend C, guys. Exactly, my plan. Sayo is turning. Now, I have 11,000 hit points. That is one huge reason why I do not want to go any closer than that, than I am right now. Because 11,000 hit points is pretty much one good hit from uh, from Sal, from Mibuki, from from pretty much everything. One good salvo from pretty much everything. Just a little bit too much. Fires, please. Nope. And no vision as well. Come on. Only a few tanks left. Okay, seems like we are going to lose this battle. I try to deal as much damage as I can. Set on fire. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, guys, 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 guys. Full stop, full stop. Third, yeah, go. Only dodging. This might be one of the best dodgings I have done, actually. 
turn, please. And... Okay, I wasn't able to dodge those. Shells. But at least I'm not dead, guys. Come on, one more fire. One more fire before going down. And who is, who is over here? Destroyer, that is going to be pretty easy kill for me, but... I don't have much HP left. Simokaja. Yeah, Simokaja should be pretty much dead in no time. When I have full HP. But I do not have that. And uh, Shimokaza is going to be able to get me. And Confederate. Okay, I was able to get Confederate with uh, two torpedo hits as well. So, I try to work as hard as I can, as you saw. But... Um, GG, good battle, and uh, pretty much perfect game to show what this ship is made of. This ship is made of uh, main battery units, pretty much. Uh, but uh, Confederate, one of the best awards in the game, in my opinion, uh, first blood, so I'm super happy about that. 250 hits, guys. 250 hits. Crazy. Two torpedo hits at the end as well. Uh, aircraft units shut down one... Destroy two ships, uh, don't fire eight. Uh, yeah, fire problem is there. Maybe you can use skills uh, that can give you some extra fire chance because the rate of fire is simply amazing and if you can put enemy ships on fire, it is even better. So, ladies and gentlemen, this was today's episode about upcoming Soviet destroyers. A little preview episode with uh, tier 10 gameplay. I can see that the grind can be, for some people, can be pretty frustrating because uh, up to tier 8 you pretty much have no torpedoes. 4 km torpedo range, this is nothing. And your surface activate range, 8 km, 7 km, 7.7 uh, km. So yeah, I don't know. What do you think about that line? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. In my opinion, tier 10 and tier 9 are going to be worth it. Well, actually, if, uh, starting from tier 8, uh, uh, tier 8, tier 9 and tier 10 uh, destroyers are pretty amazing. And I enjoyed playing with them. That said, I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I hope to see you over here next time as well when I'm going to cover new Germany cruisers. Stay tuned, take care and bye.